It's the £32 million project that's closed one of the Central Belt's busiest rail lines. Engineers are working in darkness underneath the centre of Glasgow, getting this route ready for the return of passengers. Anderson Station is one stop having a complete refurb. On the platform side, we're going to be reconditioning the whole platform surface. New water catchment system, new ceiling, new lighting and new electrical fixed wiring to enhance the whole aesthetics within the station. Well, we can actually enhance some of the structures that will still be visible and actually determining and discovering some of these structures is quite exciting. By completely closing the line, it's given engineers a chance to unearth some of the city's almost forgotten history. Behind me is Glasgow Cross Station. It was closed with the line in the 1960s. But when trains were back in the 1970s, this station was replaced by Argyle Street. It's fascinating looking at railway like this because we haven't been in there properly for so long that we don't really know what's there. So one of the biggest challenges is that you get in there and you start to peel away a couple of layers of whatever it is you need to repair and you start to find all sorts of different things and you find uh, well, you know, different, different appearances in the station or, or parts of the station that you just didn't really know were there. It's really tough, dirty, horrible work in there. So I salute them. I salute them for staying merry and jolly and if that means they name the rats, fair play to them. All going well, trains will be back on these tracks on the 8th of May, with Anderson Station opening its gates once more at the start of June. Sasha Spratt, STV News, Glasgow.